the slap in the face that you would sit there and say, Lifetime Achievement Award to Andrew Holmes, and you knew what happened. Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> so apparently, the highest level to achieve is to diddy someone. This is a diddy move. <laughs> to diddy people is the highest achievement. I mean, Diddy became a billionaire with that achievement. Now, mind you, Holmes definitely is not a billionaire. <laughs> Holmes is not even a millionaire. <laughs> I don't think Holmes is a thousandaire, honestly. <laughs> but <laughs> he is free, which probably won't be long. Reference back to Diddy. <laughs> Whom is locked up? That is Diddy activity. Okay, and Diddy activity gets you Diddy down under the prison. Okay. Hey y'all, it's your girl J9Eve. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, get into the comments to let me know what you think about this. And by this, I mean the, the you know, I, I've been giving Tiffany the business for a while now. Just really, just, I feel like maybe I might have been a little harsh on her because you know, the truth of the matter is that Tiffany is, you know, when you're on her good side, she will do so much for you, okay? And she's such a powerful woman. She's very powerful, much power. Follow me down the rabbit hole, okay? <laughs> Apparently, you know, when 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 you stick very close to, you know, and wax on and wax on the Tiffany ass as much as possible, you know, she will even make you famous, okay? She will give you awards, you know, such as the best, you know, Geppetto of the year. This is what, you know, um, Andrew Holmes apparently got. Well, he got some type of award or something. She gave him some type of award and she posted it inside of her very own Vogue magazine. It was like a pamphlet she made, you know what I'm saying? But it's got Tiffany on it so of course to her it's vogue because <laughs> if you ask tiffany tiffany's hot okay in tiffany's opinion tiffany's hot ergo her magazine it is vogue vogue okay so we are gonna get into this um to that long little rant there <laughs> this happened a few months ago it was tiffany she had like of course my homegirl belcher points it out tiffany has this magazine this brochure it's you really would have to call it a brochure it's very small but it's got of course her big ass picture on it okay because to her it's folk and inside of it she gives an award like she 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 like puts an announcement in there like the best of something and we'll see what it is together okay but <laughs> i just thought it was funny this came across i was like oh my god and then who paid for this magazine you could guess but let's see if they'll tell us let's see if they'll tell us okay buckle your seat belt honey it gets rough <laughs> um first i would like to invite everyone to tea with the trustees may 11th at 9 30 at the less alone field house um happy mother's day to all the mothers that's out there um i have a couple of uh comments um because i'm sure they won't get answered but mm -hmm. um our meeting starts at 6 30 uh -huh. And it's unfair that we have to wait till 7, 10, 7, 15 to start a regular scheduled meeting based on one person. If a quorum is here, I believe that we should start the meeting. And it's not fair. I think it's being inconsiderate of people's time. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you always say, let's take care of the business. Let's take care of the business and go move forward. Yeah. Um, secondly, I see that, and, and I'm going to say this because while the people standing outside were outside, um, there were some people that tried to come upstairs and have a seat. And now they're sitting behind where employees are. I think it's unfair that people that's not residents, whether whoever it may be, they should not be sitting anywhere where it is employing. And the reason I say this is because I came here, I came here, and I am an elected official of the village of Dalton, and they wouldn't let me pass the door. Ooh. Said that they were given the instructions that we could not come in the building. So I don't have the, the nerve or anybody to be sitting as if they were an employee of the village of Dalton when I'm an elected official, elected by the people who can't come in the building. Wow, insane. Ain't that something? They got these people who Tiffany just, you know, snatching off the street who just said, hey, girl, I like your shoes. And she was like, you know what? Yes, you are now employed. <laughs> and this is how she 
gathering up these people, bringing them in this meeting. Y'all sit up front, you know, all y'all sit up front. Everybody else to the back of the bus. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> everybody y'all sit up front. And then even though those people are not even actual, they don't even really work there. But they just, you know, back her up and she wants to have some people there to hoot and holler in her favor during these meetings. So that's why she likes to have them there. Well, sit them up in the front row, okay, at these meetings. And then literally the trustees who the meeting is for to come in and do their job, she's telling these people, which are the officers, of course, telling them they're not supposed to let the trustees in. It's, the, it's these types of things. It make it so hard to take Tiffany seriously. Like, you know, when she'd be like, that's what I be trying to educate y'all. <laughs> it's so hard to take her seriously. And these are the reasons why. Like, this is one of the reasons why. Now, you know how hard it is to take you seriously after you do some shit like that? That's just weird. I'm offended. Yeah, me too. Now, let me get to the last thing. Where you sit here and send out this. There it is. Uh, Dalton Proud. Look at her. Look, look, look. Pamphlet. Look at her little pamphlet. Proud, honey. Proud family. <laughs> They'll push your buttons. <laughs> Make you want to hurt them. <laughs> she thinks she penny proud, don't she? Tiffany. Tiffany, is you penny proud? Is you? Is you? Or no. You do look like a cartoon character. So, I mean, it fits. Ain't it something? She's like, you know what we need? We need a magazine. And you know what needs to be on the front of it? Me. <laughs> I put on a suit that y'all bought. Y'all print these out and y'all buy them. And then y'all pay for them. After y'all pay for me to make them, then y'all pay for them to get them. <laughs> and then let's see what she decides to put in such things she calls a proud. Oh my God, this bitch. She literally has to be on everything. Oh my God. Like, I'm going to tell you this. I was watching this one of her meetings, like before I started recording this. And I remember her talking about the credit cards when, when they wanted to give her a credit card. And she kept emphasizing, I, my name is not on a credit card. I don't do no, I'm not swiping cards and buying stuff or whatever. I don't do none of that stuff. They, everybody, the, the people whose names are on the cards, they do those things. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, so who swiped the card when you paid for those billboards with your face all over? Who swiped the card on those backpacks that you insisted on your own fucking name being on them for the kids the pens with your name on them for the kids the pencil boxes the pencil bags the the all uh, everything with your name on them who swiped it okay your, your name wasn't on the card but everything they swiping got your fucking name on it so all i'm saying I, I i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm sorry i'm sorry and we got it at the last meeting that came. Mm -hmm. This is nothing but an embarrassment. Yes, it is. It's an embarrassment. It's campaign material. And it's full of lies. It is. And then all the time while this was going on, mm. the slap in the face that you would sit there and say, Lifetime Achievement Award to Andrew Holmes. And you knew what happened. Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> so apparently the highest level to achieve is to you know r kelly or diddy someone <laughs> in fact we'll say diddy diddy this is the diddy move <laughs> to diddy to diddy people is the highest achievement i mean diddy became a billionaire with that achievement okay he became a billionaire doing that okay and he's been free and doing it for 30 some years okay now 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 mind you Holmes definitely is not a billionaire. <laughs> Holmes is not even a millionaire. <laughs> I don't think Holmes is a thousandaire, honestly. <laughs> but <laughs> he is free, which probably won't be long. Ergo, reference back to Diddy. <laughs> Whom is locked up? That is Diddy activity. Okay. And Diddy activity gets you Diddy down under the prison. Okay. So, lifetime achievement. I guess, I mean, it, maybe this was okay little belcher let's try to be rational about this maybe if we think deep maybe we could come up with why she done this okay <laughs> well i think it was just hear me out okay uh, maybe she because she know he about to go to jail as is she <laughs> because she know they about to go to jail <laughs> she was like you know what we need we need a magazine moment Okay, I'm going to give you a Lifetime Achievement Award. Okay, so you will have met all your goals before you goes. And 
And then I could be on the cover of a magazine because that's just some shit that I like to do. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I, I think that makes sense. I that that would kind of make that, that, that don't that make sense, right? <laughs> you can see it? Can you see it? No? Oh. <laughs> I tried. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is a slap in the face. Wow. Oh. So the next oh. time whoever gives oh, you the geez. bright idea to put this stuff out, I hope it came out your personal campaign fund because this is nothing but campaign material. And I'm sure because it got township stuff in it, the township credit card paid for it. Oh, it definitely did. It definitely did. And she definitely ain't going to answer who paid for it. And this piece of shit right here, look at this. This motherfucker, I mean, he might be the worst of them all because he was like the worst right under Tiffany. Okay, it's like him. And, in fact, him and Tiffany were neck and neck. You know, him and Tiffany were neck and neck with it. You know, with being intolerable. But this one right here, he, you know, gets in a tiny little bit of federal trouble. <laughs> I know you're like, what the fuck is tiny federal tr trouble? Like federal trouble is for sure. It's terrible. But he gets in a little bit of federal trouble. He flips. And now he's like the biggest ally for the trustees. I would not trust him. I would not. I mean, I don't know if they do trust him or if they are smartly just getting all the information that they can. They're just going to squeeze the sponge. He is telling on her and there's, and he's, he's, um, he's the whistleblower act makes it so they can't fire him because, you know, right now he's whistleblowing, right? So since he is protected, he can keep the position. Why not? Of course, it would make sense to, to you know, squeeze all the information you can out of him while he's here. Because eventually, I mean, he, probably gonna, he may still end up going to jail. <laughs> so why not? He does know all the stuff. Tiffany does hate him and is talking crazy about him. He is a spiteful person, which means he's more likely to even tell more information. Because they're petty. Him and Tiffany are petty together. They're petty together and they're petty apart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm done. Ooh. All right. Is there anybody else for a general announcement? Um, our village and what we do as it relates to outreach. So if you look to the screen to my right, your left, you can see our Easter recap. Jesus, here we go again. Easter. This is about Easter. But guess whose name is all over the top of it? This is the Easter recap. Gotta have Tiffany. Gotta have her little heart that she thinks she trademarked. She thinks she has trademarked the heart shape. Okay. That's how that's how dense this one is. Okay. <laughs> and there's her name. Tiffany Hanyard across the top. As always. And Thornton Board of Trustees. Oh my gosh. Which is so weird. This is Thornton. But she's this 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 meeting thing she's at is the Dalton. She be mixing her shit up. You know what I'm saying? I got <laughs> She's always and forever mixing her shit up. The superwoman right there. She does everything that the community loves. Uh, making sure her community is happy and the children are happy. Oh my gosh. Really? I know you didn't have permission to have this character here. Okay. Trademark. Trademark. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. This heifer, this heifer right here, okay? It's Tiffany and her magazine cover for me. It's that part for me. That's all. That's all it is. It's just that part, okay? It's Tiffany always got to have, I always got to have her name on something. Why is your name on everything, bitch? Like, I bet if you look on the inside of her jacket, of her suit, you know, I bet the tag got her name on it. <laughs> Not because she made it, <laughs> but because she put, she had somebody put her, take the tag off and put one on there that got her name on it. I would not put it past her. Like if somebody were to show me that, I'd be like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay. That sound exactly like what had happened. I bet there's a label on the inside of her fucking wig that say Tiffany Hanger. Okay. <laughs> she got to label everything. Everything got to have her face on it. Oh my God. What are you scared? You're going to forget what you look like, bitch. That seemed like that would be a, a, a pleasant experience, maybe. I, if I had that face, I'd be, you know, hoping for the day when I don't remember, you know. <laughs> cover all the mirrors. Just cover them bitches up, okay? I don't want to be reminded. I don't want it. I don't want it, okay? I don't. 
I don't want it. All right. Y'all behave. Okay. Don't be a Tiffany. Okay. You don't have to have your face on everything. It's ridiculous. It's just weird. It's giving very much Big Ed energy. Big Ed got a tattoo of his own face on his leg. <laughs> like, why would you remind yourself that that's your face? Like, why? <laughs> Seem like you'd want to forget, Ed. I'm just saying. Just saying from 90 Day Fiance, for those who don't know, okay? Mama love you. Yes, you do. Ooh. Peace.